seems like we just can't get enough of these absolute value inequalities. Now again, remember, you have to get the absolute value by itself before we can figure out if we have uh, these restrictions that boundary warts one section or we're trying to push people away. So first things first, let's subtract the three. Again, if you try to add three and two first, yeah, I just don't even know what to do. Pay attention, slow down, be careful. So we have two times the absolute value of eight X minus one is less than or equal to 26. We almost have the absolute value by itself, so we don't stop until we do have it by itself. We're going to divide both sides by 2. We get that the absolute value of 8x minus 1 is less than or equal to 13. All right, the absolute value is by itself. So is this a restriction where things are bounded, stay close by? Or does it push people away? Well, I want your distance to be less than, so I'm trying to restrict your movement, restrict the distance, which means stay close by. You have one section of the number line that we're talking about, which means you can have just one string of inequalities. So that means that 8x minus 1 is less than or equal to 13, while at the same time being greater than or equal to its opposite, negative 13. All right, so we start there. You've got those boundaries, you're between negative 13 and 13. And we're going to solve this guy to see where we end up. So first things first, move that constant by adding 1 to all three parts. So we get negative 12 is less than or equal to 8x, which is less than or equal to 14. And we're almost there. We just have to finish solving for 8, or solving for x, excuse me, by dividing by 8. And you want to make sure that you reduce, okay? So here, these guys reduce by a common factor of 4, so we have 3 over 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 14 over 8. These guys have a common factor of 2, so we're left with 7 over all right, so when I look at this on a number line, I've got negative 3 halves, and I've got 7 fourths, and you see every step along the way here for this compound inequality, it's going to be true, right? What's on the left is less than what's on the right. My solutions are bounded in between these guys. And not only that, but you've got the or equal to pieces here for the inequality. So both of these are going to be included. Like this, and like that. Which means our interval notation is going to be bracket from negative 3 halves to 7 fourths with a bracket. So the key thing here, first of all, is to get the absolute value by itself. And the second part is to identify whether it's a, uh, uh, boundaries or like pushing away. So this having the distance less than meant stay close by, have those boundaries, have those restrictions. Let's look at this next example. So here we have an absolute value, but we need to get them by himself first. So to do that, I need to subtract the three. So subtract 3 everywhere. Negative 5 times the absolute value of x plus 14 is less than negative 20. A lot of negatives going on here, so let's go ahead and get rid of that by dividing both sides by negative 5. Now, I hope that you are all paying attention to what just happened. I just divided both sides of an inequality by a negative, which means this inequality flips to become greater than. Right? Remember that if you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality, no matter what kind of inequality, if you multiply, divide, multiply or divide both sides by a negative, the inequality symbol is going to flip. So now we have the absolute value being greater than 4. That means I want your distance to be more than 4. That means I want you to push away, stay away from me, 
you've got two sections of the number line that we're talking about, so you must have two separate inequalities. One of those being just what you see, which is x plus 4 is greater than 4, or the other option, you keep this as x plus 14, but instead of greater than 4, you're going to be on the left side of its opposite, negative 4. And then we just go through the process of solving each of these inequalities. All right, so this gives me x is greater than negative 10. Over here, I need to subtract 14 as well. So x is less than negative 18. So let's see what this looks like on the number line. Let's see if this really is the way we expect it to be, where these guys are going away from each other. Well, they're both negative, so don't let the order throw you off. Negative 18 is more on the left than is negative 10. So greater than negative 10 is open at negative 10, going to the right. Less than 18, or negative 18 is open at negative 18, and going to the left. So yeah, these guys are going in opposite directions. The interval notation is going to be from negative infinity to negative 18 parentheses union negative 10 to positive infinity. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. We've got a few more examples to look at that are kind of weird, a little bit different, so let's see what happens.